right we just popped into our local trailer manufacturer so lincolnshire trailer manufacturer bailey trailers to um get to cut the parts and uh, the pink trailer that we saw at uh, the mid machinery show is here uh, we've just bought some raffle tickets for it in the hope that we uh, would like to win it obviously and it's all in a good cause so uh, we will see how we get on but um do you think we'd have a pink trailer on the gcs high fleet i don't know we'll find out won't we so it, so there is the pink trailer and uh it's been sold off by sort of raffle tickets at 25 or i think the guidance of about 25 pound a ticket and uh all money raised for charity so uh that will certainly stand out in the future wherever this trailer goes won't it but uh what a nice good thing to do what a nice thing baby traders are doing so anyway i'm gonna go look quickly around the yard so uh another quick mooch around and see what we can see i think baby traders obviously an extremely well known brand of trailer we do run some in our fleet and there will be more added without any question of a doubt to that but they've been making traders here in english since 1982 and uh, they've grown into a phenomenal business. Phenomenal business, eh? There you go. <laughs> Sorry? Cut me out. <laughs> she also cut her out. Too late. She's in the video. She's in the video. Anyway, we'll have a quick look, quick look around the yard and uh, see, what, see what they've uh, got in there. Now, here's a trailer I've seen before. I think he's been on social media um, quite a few times. This is, I think, the first trailer that was made by, by um, Tom Bailey trailer number zero zero one or whatever and uh it's back here at bailey now i think it's normally out where the pink one stands but uh yeah trailer number one a lot of history and heritage there so uh it looks good so the point i've just noticed is a um a bailey size trailer and uh with a push block on the back that's not something i've seen before um, I can certainly see the benefits of why that would be quite a useful thing to have on a trailer but uh, also what do you think of the different colour eh? you certainly don't see many blue Bailey trailers but it uh, does look quite cool there's loads of trailers all in the yard here oh look at oh fuel bowsers Plenty of fuel bowsers there with that blue. I you have a... You see a lot of them around Lincolnshire, very popular in Lincolnshire. Black Bailey trailers. And there's the uh, Bailey trailer there with a uh, hydraulic front to rear sheet. Sheets have certainly become a lot more popular now, and we're certainly, we're certainly getting asked for a lot more. And I think you'll see that on a lot more trailers there in the future, without any question of a doubt. With that, um, there's another one over there. With the green one at the top. But, uh, hmm. Oh, another blue one in there. Oh, that's good. Sorry. Anyway, sorry, sorry. I get excited, but uh, I think there's a new um, thing they're doing with these Bailey traders, which I think with they're putting a um, this riffled effect on the front, which I think is to help to prevent the stone chips from the wheels, or so I believe. Um, these certain traders have all got them, and. Uh, yeah, be interesting to see how that pans out, won't it, in the future? So, uh, even Michelle's getting into traders now, look. Wow. We certainly would say that we've had good, good, good feedback from our customers at Bailey. And we have very few issues. In fact, we don't have any issues, I don't think, with our Bailey trailers. Um, the contract tippers, we've got a few of these. And we also have um, extension sides for them. So we can make them into sort of a, uh, for want of a, bit of a short grain trailer. And uh, we do get asked for it. They do go out as grain traders on that. So.
that's a nice trailer. I'm guessing that's about sort of 30 foot, I'm guessing, something like that. And that's the first time I've actually ever seen a winch on um, one. A hydraulic winch as well, that's good. I bet that'd be useful. Yeah, I certainly, uh, I certainly see the advantages of having the winch on the front of there. So, the other thing is, I think this trade has actually got outrigger um, points as well. There we go. I know our Bosch house low loader has those, but you don't, you certainly don't see many in the agricultural world with the uh, pull out outriggers. Um, another trader tucked in here is that is a people carrier. We are certainly thinking of adding people carrier traders to our fleet um, for the events of the television industry and shows. So, what are people's thoughts on that? Do you think we? Uh, Probably last a very long time because it's not going to get the, um, the hard working life of, of dump tipping trailers and things, is it? But uh, oh, your phone's ringing now again. I'm glad I walked up to the back of the look at this um, people carrier because again. That is something very, very different on a ag. Was I saying that? Is it an egg spec no loader necessarily? But hydraulic shift side to side ramps. So uh, it just goes to prove that the versatility, the versatility, versatility of what they do here at Bailey. And oh my god, I think it's trying. It's got a, it's a hydraulic raise and lower beaver tail, so you can uh, convert it into a flat trailer. So. I think this low load probably covers about every eventuality and it's extremely not far off being a commercial lorry trailer. So uh, that really is quite some some beast of a trailer, that. And so it's something we would like to we'd like to have that in our hire fleet, no question about. So, uh, well, I kind of came and looked at that, but yeah. You got Bale trailers here, or well, I say not just bale, but self-securing trailer. I don't know quite the, the technical term for them, um, but these these sides of the trailer here will drop down. You load your bales on, and then you put the sides back up and clamp them up. And uh, I think they come in. I think they come in various heights. I think you can almost have a second layer uh, if you do sort of the bigger Heston bales. I, th I think I stand to be corrected. Um, again. I think it's definitely where the market is going. Um, I think they also work for like the big bags, the fertilizer and things like that. So at the time saving on moving bales, I think it's colossal, absolutely colossal. But, uh, hmm. I sort of get carried away shopping here. That is for something. There's no question of a doubt about that. Be interesting to know where all these traders end up in the world, wouldn't it? Um, I know Bailey's got a very good um, market for traders, and uh, great to see British engineering, really. Wow, look at that. I think, and I actually think every single trader here is is, is fitted with air brakes. So I don't think I've seen one I'm saying that the low loader there. I think it's the only trailer I've seen that's not fitted, I believe it's not fitted with, the, oh no, typical. I say that, then there's two next to each other, so there we go, but most of these trailers are fitted with air brakes. But uh, yeah, good quality trailers from a local English manufacturer, so uh, We'll certainly be adding some more to our fleet 
in the uh, very, very near future. So, uh, a few more here with oil brakes. Oh, look at that. He's like a mini jump trailer. On, on mini circles, two singles. It's quite cute. Look at that. That's quite cool. I bet that travels well because I think you put virtually the whole load is almost over the wheels, isn't it? So uh, I bet that travels travels very well. Well, the contract tippers we've got, similar to this one here. Again, ride and travel very well with a fully load on. Um, just seems to be that Bailey do certainly seem to have got the, the, the balance right for the weight. So, uh, you know, you can have a 20 ton load on some of them and you don't feel that you're putting a 20 ton load. It, it's, uh, yeah, good good trailers, good trailers. And, uh, well, oh, hang on. I think Michelle's filming the filming here. <laughs> there we go. Right, we better go get our parts. We just thought we'd give you a quick look round the yard here. We we'll thank the Bailey family, thank the Bailey family for letting us have a look round. So there's a another contract tipper with a hydraulic front to rear sheet. Yeah, that's a. Uh, There we go. Right, we'll uh, go and collect our parts. 